progress for teachers. Uh, you can also come to this particular page via the class groups. And then because I'm teaching the pre JC ones, and then you can also click on this to go to the learning progress page. So this donut was covered in the earlier video, so I will not talk about it again. Uh, this is the content map. So there are different content map that you can toggle. So over the years, uh, syllabus change. So uh, different text will allow you to filter by different syllabuses. Okay, so th in this particular uh, view, you can search and look through the content map via the topics. So the topics is like uh, content map. So you can see all the learning objectives all nicely done. So one thing to note is this number here. If it is collapsible by uh, something, uh, then in this case, if you if you add these numbers here together, it adds up to seven because it is part of this higher learning objectives. So this is inside these functions and graphs. So when you add these two together, you add up to twenty eight. So this is how the learning content via topics can be seen. So this scale here is like an indication of how much the marks awarded over the total marks and then of course percentage. You can obviously sort by order and all that but um, I, I leave it to you to play with it. Uh, so the next thing is uh, if you, let's say you want to go by go to default, I'll just refresh the page. Lah, oh, then you can go back to the default view. There's something called the view untagged question. So for example, I have included the questions and this question is unfortunately untagged to any of the content map learning objectives. So this provides a quick access to the untagged question. So you click this, then you will see that there's a particular question that's untagged. Click on the view questions and then you can go to the view details. So after you go to the view details, you need to add the tag. So how do you add the tag is you go to the three dot edit the assignment and then you, you'll be brought to this page. You can do it via the edit details or the gear, the settings. So you can see that this is untagged. Okay. So you need to add the tag. So when you add the tag, make sure that you tag uh, according to the correct subject level and the uh, content map which is the syllabus will come out and then you can choose the correct tag when you're doing this make sure that you only select one uh, lo because uh, selecting one lo will then create a one-to-one -one matching of which then the numbers will add up in the donut and it will be easier for you to make sense of all this uh, data Okay, if you add too many, then uh, eventually it may become a big mess. So it is difficult to make sense and, and make meaning. Lah. So you have to be aware of this. So typically I will do an update uh, to make sure that the data is safe. I will resume the assignment because I want and I notify the student because I want them to know. And then I'll go back to the untagged view. So I'll do a refresh and you should see that this view untagged is no longer there. And because just now I added it to something, so it should appear uh, again inside the the correct topic that I've added. Okay, so this covers covers the the content map by topic. So you can go by month. So by month, what it means is, uh, let me break it down for you. So in this case, for example, in August, uh, a total of seven marks has been awarded and given to the student as an assignment so you can see that this is the the marks that uh, the student can get and then in september then there is another few assignments that have this content map that has this coverage and then this is the the marks that were uh, awarded and likewise for october so two out of two and all that so the lastly you can look at the student so in this case the student view allows you to drill down and look at specifically what the student have done in order to achieve one of the three marks okay uh, and likewise the other data here so let's say for simplicity we look at this one out of three how to make meaning of this these numbers here so the view here doesn't show up according to the content map learning objectives but you can actually look through by the assignment questions so this number of times subtopic attempted is three that means the student actually attempted 
uh, three times on individual questions. So because each question is one mark, so that means the student did all three questions of which the student only got one correct. So, so this is how you read it. So to drill down uh, lower, you can look at the actual breakdown. Then you can see that this is a multiple choice in activity one that she or he got zero mark out of a total of one marks. So you can drill down and look at the activity. Uh, this is again in activity one, a multiple choice with some hint of the question. You can view the details of which the student got zero of the one mark. And then lastly, this is the activity two. It's a multiple choice of which the student got it correct. So you can see that there is a one. So you add this together, this is uh, one, and then this is three. So this is how the data is presented over here.